Heart Type Fatty Acid Binding Protein, Wikipedia Audio 1G5W, 1HMR, 1HMS, 1HMT, 2HMB, 3RSW, 3WBG, 3WVM, 3WXQ, 4TJZ, 4TKB, 4TKH, 4TKJ, 4WBK, 5CE4 NM004102, NM0013209969 NM010174 Structure NP0013079259 NP004093 NP034304 Heart type fatty acid binding protein also known as mammary derived growth inhibitor is a protein that in humans is encoded by the FABP3 gene. The HOD gene is located on chromosome 1, with its specific location being 1P33P32. The gene contains 5 exons. HOD encodes a 51.2 Kata protein that is composed of 133 amino acids, 124 peptides have been observed through mass spectrometry data. Heart type fatty acid binding protein is a small cytoplasmic protein released from cardiac myocytes following an ischemic episode. Like the nine other distinct FABPs that have been identified, HFABP is involved in active fatty acid metabolism where it transports fatty acids from the cell membrane to mitochondria for oxidation. CFABP3 for biochemical details. The intracellular fatty acid binding proteins belongs to a multi-gene family. FABPs are divided into at least three distinct types namely the hepatic, intestinal, and cardiac type. They form 14 to 15 Kata proteins and are thought to participate in the uptake, intracellular metabolism, and slash or transport of long-chain fatty acids. They may also be responsible in the modulation of cell growth and proliferation. Fatty acid binding protein 3 gene contains 4 exons and its function is to arrest growth of mammary epithelial cells. This gene is also a candidate tumor suppressor gene for human breast cancer. FABP3 is known to interact with TNNI3K in the context of interacting with cardiac troponin I. The protein also interacts with VPS28. KIAA159, NUP62, PLK1, UBC, and XPO1. In HIV, a synthetic peptide corresponding to the immunosuppressive domain of HIV1 GP41 downregulates the expression of fatty acid binding protein 3 in peptide treated PBMCs. HFABP is a sensitive biomarker for myocardial infarction and can be detected in the blood within 1 to 3 hours of the pain. Function The diagnostic potential of the biomarker HFABP for heart injury was discovered in 1988 by Professor Jan Glatz. HFABP is 20 times more specific to cardiac muscle than myoglobin. It is found at tenfold lower levels in skeletal muscle than heart muscle and the amounts in the kidney, liver and small intestine are even lower again. HFABP is recommended to be measured with troponin to identify myocardial infarction and acute coronary syndrome in patients presenting with chest pain. HFABP measured with troponin shows increased sensitivity of 20.6% over troponin at 3-6 hours following chest pain onset. This sensitivity may be explained by the high concentration of HFABP in myocardium compared to other tissues, the stability and solubility of HFABP, its low molecular weight, 
15 kda compared to 18, 80, and 37 kda for Mio, CKMB and CTNT respectively, its rapid release into plasma after myocardial injury, 60 minutes after an ischemic episode, and its relative tissue specificity. Similarly this study showed that measuring HFABP in combination with troponin increased the diagnostic accuracy and with a negative predictive value of 98% could be used to identify those not suffering from MI at the early time point of 3-6 hours post chest pain onset. The effectiveness of using the combination of HFABP with troponin to diagnose MI within 6 hours is well reported. In addition to its diagnostic potential, HFABP also has prognostic value. Alongside D-dimer, NT-probn, and peak troponin T, it was the only cardiac biomarker that proved to be a statistically significant predictor of death or MI at one year. This prognostic information was independent of troponin T, ECG, and clinical examination. The risk associated with raised HFABP is dependent upon its concentration. Patients who were TNI negative but HFABP positive had 17% increased risk of all-cause mortality within one year compared to those patients who were TNI positive but HFABP negative. Currently these TNI positive patients are prioritized for angioplasty and the TNI-negative patients are considered to be of a lower priority, yet the addition of the HFABP test helps identify patients who are currently slipping through the net and allows physicians to more appropriately manage this hidden high-risk group. If both biomarkers were negative, there is 0% mortality at 6 months, in the author's own words this represents a particularly worthwhile clinical outcome especially because it was observed in patients admitted into hospital for suspected ACS. HFABP indicates risk across the ACS spectrum including UA, NSTEMI, or STEMI where low HFABP concentrations confer low risk whereas high HFABP concentrations indicate patients who are at a much higher risk of future events. HFABP has been proven to significantly predict 30-day mortality in acute pulmonary embolism. HFABP is more effective than troponin T in risk stratifying chronic heart failure patients. HFABP is beginning to create interest with researchers who have found emerging evidence that indicates a role in differentiating between different neurodegenerative diseases. To obtain diagnostic and prognostic information a precise and fully quantitative measurement of HFABP is required. Commercial tests include a cardiac array on evidence multistat, and an automated biochemistry assay. Interactions Clinical Significance Diagnostic Potential Prognostic Potential HFABP in other diseases HFABP point of care testing